Okay, now that we've got the gimbals in, uh, we need to do something about these holes. Uh, because they're glued in now, uh, the holes are, uh, they're just holes. Uh, now I've got some plastic Phillips head screws here. Uh, and I've already put one in. And uh, I'm just gonna glue these in with uh, some thickened CA and some zip kicker. Um, you could use the old screws, glue them in with some silicone, uh, leave it open. Um, uh, me, I'm gonna put some screws in there just to, uh, just to keep the dust out. So I'll spray a little kicker right into the cap. And then I'm gonna dip my pencil tip in it and just paint a little bit inside these holes, just around the, the landing where the, the screw head is gonna rest. Just wanna get these a little bit wet. Evaporate, so you need to keep an eye on that. Okay, and start with the first screw. And just a little CA under the head. Doesn't take much. And drop it in. Wipe off the kicker. And it's permanent. Okay. Grab another one. And it looks like the kicker may have dried up a little bit in this hole. The nice thing about this stuff is it doesn't attack plastic. And a little bit under the head. And you don't want to hesitate with this, just all in one go. Otherwise you might wind up with a screw stuck halfway out. Okay, next hole is still wet. in. It looks like this hole is a little bit dry. Get it wet there. There we go. Let's see. A. are now filled. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. Okay, last step, calibrate the gimbals. Um, the values of these pots are, are different than the originals. Uh, so when you first power it up, it's going to see just very little movement in the gimbals. Um, I've already calibrated this, but I'm going to walk you through it. Um, this is assuming that you've got the, uh, the ER firmware. Um, so just turn it on. Um, never mind the alert. Okay. 
And to get into the calibration menu with the ER firmware, uh, you just press and hold the plus button until this menu comes up. And then scroll over to the calibration menu, which is right here, and press menu to start. And now it wants you to, uh, to set the midpoints. Okay, so this one is at midpoint. Uh, pitch and roll is already at midpoint. Okay, so press menu. All right, and now you want to move the pots to their maximum points, the stops in all four corners. Okay, and you can see down here that it's, it's recording the uh, the throws and then it also wants you to do the pots so you want to make sure that you uh, get the full range in there just move those a few times okay and be sure to move these from zero to a hundred a couple of times. There you go. And that's it. Press menu and you're done. Okay. Exit. You're back to the, uh, the main menu and you're ready to fly.